Charles Eames started out in life as an architect, and in fact, uh, before he met Ray and before he went to Cranbrook, Charles practiced architecture from 1930 to 1938 in St. Louis. And as far as current architectural historical research goes, Charles did five houses and two and a half churches in that period of time between 1930 and 1938. This is an example of later Eames uh, architecture. This is an actual pavilion for the uh, uh, IBM New York World's Fair display. Um, this was uh, designed by the Eames office and uh, it's remarkable to get to see one. I think this is maybe the only one left that's in uh, public hands. The Vitra Museum has one. Um, another interesting lesson from this is in the dome of the pavilion is a famous image. This is a, uh, a design by Ray Eames and a photograph by Charles Eames, although I think they'd prefer that we didn't make a distinction about what each one of them contributed. I particularly love the story of this image. In the uh, 1950s, Herman Miller, their original manufacturer, came to Charles and Ray Eames and said, we need a new stock certificate. And Ray had this idea, and she said to the CEO of Herman Miller, have somebody gather up uh, wildflowers from Zeeland, Michigan, which was the headquarters of, of Herman Miller and where a number of these Eames designs were made. And she said, I only want Zeeland, Michigan wildflowers because that's where you're making our designs and pack them in some dry ice and ship them to California and so they did. And Ray arranged this and Charles photographed it and it was first used on the Herman Miller stock certificate of the 1950s and here Charles and Ray have reused it as a delightful uh, uh, point of focus for the dome of this IBM uh, New York World's Fair Pavilion of 1964.